A man is hurt after a shooting on I-65 and it happened while he was driving last night around 630. Indiana State Police believe it started with road rage. This is the eighth interstate shooting so far this year and state police say there have also been 35 more incidents involving guns on interstates this year. Fox 59's Kaylee Schuyler has a warning now from law enforcement. Thursday night, the eighth interstate shooting of 2023. This is something we're seeing increasing. The victim was driving down I-65 near downtown when police say a man was driving a black Nissan Altima and shot into the passenger door of a white Chrysler and hit the driver in the leg. Investigators believe this stemmed from road rage. Uh, since January 1st of, of this year, 2023, we've investigated an additional 35 incidents, including where somebody points a gun or they display a firearm uh, from around the around the city. This victim is expected to be OK, but others have not been so lucky. In early January, Indy Steelers coach Richard Donnell Hamilton was shot and killed in a road rage incident. He had took us away from the gun violence. The very thing he was protecting his players from is what took his life. He made an entire community and entire city of youth his children. State police say if someone flashes a gun at you or is aggressive while driving, disengage. Uh, increase the distance, decrease your speed. Uh, don't give uh, hand gestures, don't flash your lights, uh, brake light or brake check people. Lieutenant Shane Foley says traffic patrol can help spot some of the people who would engage in violent crime. Traffic enforcement is, an, is a supplement in a way to adjust behavior. If this happens to you, call 911. If you're able to get a vehicle description, get the license plate number, uh, we will follow up on that because that is that is a felony. We also encourage people to get uh, dashboard cameras and put them in their cars. In Indianapolis, Kaylee Schuyler, Fox 59 News. And if you have information about last night's shooting, you're asked to contact Indiana State Police or Crime Stoppers. A legal expert says the document 